Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Simon and we are the Wells of Wall Street. Today I've got a very, very, very quick update um, coming out of the CBDC arena. Uh, we've done quite a few videos of um, CBDCs recently, so for those that don't know, that's Central Bank Digital Currency. Um, so in past videos, fairly recently, we've done one from uh, the Bank of England, uh, Russia, Germany, and many other countries following suit in terms of this topic and conversation. So this one's coming out of Ghana. Um, this particular report is from the modern Ghana. Um, and basically uh, mentioning here that they are looking to pilot the digital currency from September this year. So this is the first one I've kind of seen where they've been open and transparent about when they're using them. Um, a lot of the other countries, I'm sure they are using them or trying in them. They just don't want to say, maybe. But these guys have openly come out and said that they will be piloting it the, from this year. So this is quite um, interesting. Um, I think that, uh, again, it's, it's just showing the way that everything's going. Um, now, what they have said is um, not cashless. They've said cash light. So... This is sort of indicating, obviously, the trial, and this is not something that's just going to happen overnight like it is worldwide as well. Uh, you know, there's going to be some, you know, tests and trials, of course, for a period of time, whether that be for a few years or five years or whatever. And it's not going to immediately take over from the existing sort of fiat currencies that all the countries around the world use in their own right. So it's really interesting. Um, again, it's pushing the narrative of you know, digital transactions, potential cashless society in the near future, uh, gaining that kind of sustainability aspect where we've seen with the Agenda 30 program and, and the World Economic Forums, um, you know, themes of things like this, and you know, just the general um, increase in the usage of mobile transactions um, and looking to improve and speed up as well as um, me be more kind of not only economical but sustainable in terms of new payment and settlement systems so this is sort of quite interesting around the qr code but um, of course what we anticipate is the use potentially of uh, things like um, blockchain technology to power this or whether they've got their own system being built this is something we don't know yet but what is interesting, as I mentioned at the beginning, is these guys uh, over in Ghana have um, you know, announced this publicly, and it's this year that they're trialing it. So it'd be really interesting to see what develops in the next few months and what they find from it, what data they get from it, um, what experiences they get from it, and will it be lessons for others to learn as well? Or will, I'm sure many governments around the world will be keeping a keen eye on Ghana, especially with this. So um yeah that's just about it really for this video like i said it's a very quick update um please do let us know what you think of this below um whether you think this is going to be blockchain led or via another system and um you know if you are from other countries let us know what what your country's up to in regards to cbdc's and the digital transformation uh, we really appreciate the comments and we obviously um you know very much try to answer as many as possible if not all um, but yeah, let us know. And other than that, please do like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Make sure you press the little bell button next to the subscribe button so you get all of the wonderful notifications of when we release videos as and when. So other than that, guys, I hope to see you, Ghana, and their CBDCs, and whatever's powering it, on the moon. Take care, everyone.